What is going on everybody out here today and we're working on the fiber. I'm gonna show you the process that I'm using to engrave some Zippo lighters. So stick around and let's get to it. All right, so there's a couple of tips and tricks that I'm gonna show you here. Um, but here are the Zippo lighters that I'm using and they are Zippo brand. Um, so keep in mind, if you are watching this video and you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to go do this on the lighter that I have on hand. If it's not Zippo, if it's not this one, it may not work the same because the coatings are a little bit different on, on other lighters. Um, but like this one, you can see that inside it is like a brass color. So the black coating, brass on the inside. So what I'm going to do is we're actually going to have a it's going to be a black on black type engraving. So it's barely going to skim the surface to give us the look that we want. So what I've got over here is I've actually set up my little Lego jig. Um, so what I've done is gone and I've kind of clamped these bars down on the corner of the Legos. Got my jig set up a little bit narrower and I can go ahead and take one of the Zippo lighters, set it on here, and now it's perfectly lined up for where I need the artwork. Um, what I do here is once I've got the artwork on here, I frame it so I can see where it's landing, and then I set up the Legos, get things as close as I possibly can, and I start using my arrow keys here to adjust the artwork, and it'll show me where it's framing. So <clears throat> one of the things to keep in mind as you use the arrow keys, you can hold down shift and that will make large movements. You can just use a regular arrow and that'll make medium sized movements. Or if you hold down the control key, you can actually hit control and use the arrows and then it will make small movements. So those are things that you can keep in mind how to move things around and be more precise with that. So next, let's look at the settings that I'm using to get this black mark. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm doing 2,000 millimeters a second at a 30% power, 60 uh, frequency, and then my line interval is 0 0.025. I'm doing a 45 degree with a crosshatch, and it's bi-directional fill. So I'm also going to go ahead and I'm going to do everything at once. So that way it's basically just doing one pass, and then the hatch come back and do another pass. All right, so let's go and we'll take a look at how it runs. All right, and so this is what it looks like right off the laser. Um, I'll take it inside. I'll run a quick magic eraser across it. It'll clean that up. And it'll have a nice consistent black look to it. So it'll have that black on black. All right, and here's what it looks like after a quick cleaning. So you got kind of just that black on black look. Didn't go all the way down to the bare metal. If it would have gone down to the bare metal, it would look like that. All right, everybody, well, that was a quick one, just running through some fiber stuff and how quick and easy some of the engravings can be done on the fiber, just dialing in some sw some settings, using some quick jigs, and even using some of the features in Lightburn to make small adjustments and, and get things positioned exactly where you want them. So thank you so much. Like, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one.